Welcome back, snack tickers. Today we're going to look at this Renogy Rover 20 amp. What is it? It's a charge controller with Bluetooth. We're going to maybe have a look inside of this and uh, then we're going to connect the Snack Tech Solar Dashboard unit and see how that compares with the Bluetooth module. So, without any further ado, let's get started. Bluetooth module, cable, download the app. Have a look at that. It's not waterproof. You see that? Not waterproof. This is all for the Bluetooth module. Okay. So that's one thing. This contact Steven Woods. Okay. 20, 30, 40. Efficiency conversion curves. It's kind of a weird uh, graph because it goes backwards. The output power goes. From high to low. I'm like, what is this? Is this upside down city? What's going on? At 50 watts, you're getting a better efficiency at a lower panel voltage. You know, it's a significant amount. But I don't like how this is uh, reversed here. The, the watt, uh, the lower watt should be here, and the higher ones. Yeah, I don't know what this. But look, the graph is uh, the scale is different here. Like, what's going on? And what's going on with this? 87, 96, 90, 87. What the? Went to a different school of thought, I would say. We have the uh, RVR20 here, and at uh, 12 volts, we can use do a lot less uh, maximum uh, input power. So really, I think what they're saying is a 12-volt battery versus 24-volt battery. So really, using the 24-volt battery is going to give us a lot more capability with this. So let's have a look at the actual unit. Okay, we've got a nice uh, foam protection. We're going to take that off. Um, got a nice uh, condom on the front here. Ooh. Should we take it off? Why not? Let's take it off. We got the uh, battery temperature probe, so that this is important to uh, proper um, compensation for the battery. You can see the battery will, uh, especially lead acid batteries, are going to need different temp, different peak uh, voltages and such. Uh, depending on the temperature here, uh, temperature uh, compensation uh, minus three millivolt per Celsius per two volt. So I'm not sure what that per two volt is because uh, this should be millivolts per Celsius. So we need a temperature probe for that. So we got that here. This battery temperature is gonna show up on our Snack Tech solar dashboard unit as well. So we got multiple options for monitoring our solar generation. We got the uh, Renogy BT1 unit, and then we have the SnackTech Solar Dashboards. Okay, so this is the Bluetooth transmitter, and it comes on a nice long cord. So we can plug this guy remotely and put the Bluetooth, because you're gonna need this cord, okay? Because this Bluetooth is not gonna have an amazing range at all. So you're gonna need to, you know, they call it wireless, but it's gonna be a wired solution to wherever you are. So you're gonna have to be uh, all close and personal with this guy to get any signal. That's what I'm, uh, that's what I'm guessing, but uh, so this guy plugs in down here. So here's the Snack Tech Solar Dashboard, and let's see what's going on here. Okay, so we've got this. What is this? Quick Start Guide. And what do we got here? We got a telephone cable here to connect it. What else we got? We got a voucher code right here, okay, for the free year of uh, monitoring. And then we got the unit right here. In here. Monitor here. Okay, size doesn't matter in this case. Okay, I got this little uh, screwdriver. It's not that short. Still reach. Okay, I've got the Renogy unit and this battery here. So, she's a old dead battery, but it will work for this. And you always want to make sure you got the polarity correct. So here we got the black wire going in the negative, and the red wire going in the positive. Always double check. Let's see what happens. Hopefully, don't blow it up. Uh, oh, she could be dead. Let's check that battery. Seven volts. So yeah, that's not gonna be enough. Oh, there's life. Something happened. Okay, what's going on? Okay, Renogy DC home. See how this works. Open. It wants to make phone calls. How about no? Why do I need to log in? Next. My Renogy. Here we go. Okay. No device found. So let's add a device. 
Confirm. There we go. This time it worked. Oh, now the battery's 14%. So, uh, obviously not the most. Oh, 100%. So that these things are changing quickly here. If I go away, I can't access this. How am I going to access this? I think I need to buy their uh, hub or something. Um, let's try the, uh, let's compare this to the Snack Tech Solar Dashboard as it is today. Okay, so I'm going to have to re-record this part because the footage got, got corrupted. But uh, we're going to just, uh, it's a few days later, but we're going to do the setup again. So I've disconnected this from the Wi-Fi so we can show that again. So the first thing, plug this in, and then we're going to be looking for the solar network right here. So we're going to tap on that. Right away we get the sign-in page. And... You can see it's not connected to the Wi-Fi, so we tap on that to look for a network. And we're going to look for this one here, my, uh, my home network. Push connect. Okay, you can see we're connected, no problem. So we're going to exit that. And at this point, um, I would put in my cloud credentials, which you're going to see in the next video, uh, which would be here but this is already done obviously. And uh, while I'm here, I can show you uh, the last few days worth of generation. This is just connected to my uh, bench power supply here. So you can see we had, uh, I'll turn this sideways. We had this very dead battery and it charged for a while and uh, now it's at sort of steady state all charged up. So you can see the rest of the, uh, the dashboard here. And now I would access I would no longer access it through here. I would access it through this IP address on my network. So let me do that. I go copy and then exit that. And then we're going to, okay, we're going to copy that link in right there. And then we will, oh, well, we got to get off of the, uh, get off of the network there. So we forget that network. And then this is going to connect back to our home network. And then there we go. All right, that's simple. And from here we can set up MQTT or the cloud or whatever else. Oh, I should note for this rover, uh, once you've connected uh, this uh, Bluetooth module to it, this actually changes the Modbus ID to 255. It's usually one, which is the default, but this little guy will change it to 255. So if you're not seeing any connection, uh, try using 255 uh, right here and then that will work for you uh, the next step we're gonna look at how to set up the cloud and that will be in the past okay we're gonna log into the uh, demo account here and um, you can see we got a few devices so we're going to add a new device here add a new device and there it is and we're gonna call it our Renogy, Renogy for life. Okay, there we go. And you can see our API key. So I'm gonna save that. And you can see there's our device, Renogy for life, but it has not been activated yet. So we're, oh, so we're going to activate it here. We're gonna type in our voucher code. So that would be a nine F S Y A H like that. We're gonna activate. And just like that, our device is activated. And if we go, go here to information, we're going to copy. We're going to copy, if we can, that API key right there. Okay, and we're going to go back now. We're going to go back. See, right now we're in the cloud, so we're going to go back to... To this, right? We're going to... Click on that again, go back to this, and we're going to put in our API key here, paste it, and here we're going to put uh, our demo email. Simple as that, and then we'll push save. Okay, and once we push save, we can just exit here, and we're going to go to the power icon and just reboot. Okay, and after a minute or so, we now have our device here in the dashboard. So we can expand that. And this is now accessible from this is now accessible from anywhere. 
So anywhere you are, we can see our gauges. Okay, this is going to conclude the uh, this part of the video, and we'll make some more uh, videos about uh, this rover unit and connecting it to some solar panels outside and all of that. Um, if you're still here, uh, you must be interested, so uh, why don't you give a subscribe and a like, and we're going to look at some a uh, lot of other things in new videos. We're going to look at this uh, Victron unit, how to communicate with it with uh, VE Direct, so we're going to look at that to do that and then we still we have also a uh, uh, that's a big boy it's an inverter and a mains power generator and everything so it's a kind of an all-in-one unit we're gonna have a look at that we're gonna probably do a tear down of this uh, this energy unit um, and uh, so lots of lots of new stuff coming so uh, keep an eye out and we'll see you next time